Hello and welcome for another episode of uh, Get to Know Our Speakers for the PAC Challenge uh, 2023. My name is uh, Wim van der Ham and I have the pleasure today to be with our James Palmer. Hello James. Hi Wim, nice to see you again. It's been a long time. Nice to see you too and um, I, I, I can't help remembering uh, <laughs> last time we we saw you uh, on stage uh, impersonating a very famous rock star but let's yeah. not get too <laughs> drifted away uh and uh for those who don't know you uh please introduce yourself your your company what you work for and and what your job is yeah uh so i'm james palmer um i work for virtue motors um we're one of the largest automotive retailers in the uk um and i Work. I have a sort of. A, I have two jobs, I suppose. One is to manage a team of um, developers, eleven developers who work for work for me, um, working on um, progress, open edge um, side of things. Mm -hmm. And I also manage the help to manage the database infrastructure, um, and I'm responsible for implementing um, large projects such as modernization projects and. Um, um, changes to the infrastructure, data uh, migrations, upgrades, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, sort of, I've uh, got my fingers in a few different pies, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, I, I think that is always that's also the reason, probably, why you you have two uh, uh, different sessions, and the first yeah. one is uh, called getting started as a DBA. So you try to make people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i suppose i'm not going to make people a dba inside an hour um no, but no, no. Uh, they need a little bit more time than that um i am planning to give people just enough information to make them dangerous um <laughs> and then tell them not to be um, okay. and also advise them on how to write a better cv um <laughs> <laughs> uh, but seriously it's um it's i think there's a lot of people out there who have wondered about what sort of stuff um, goes on behind the scenes with the database. They don't really know where to start. Um, there's a lot of, well, there's, there's training out there, but it's um, mostly you know paid for training and that sort of thing. So I want to give people maybe a little bit of a flavor about how you might get started with investigating what uh, a DBA does on a day-to-day -day basis, do some cool stuff with the database and uh, maybe work out um, what you could do to improve your own systems and that sort of thing. And then use that as information that you could use to uh, find out more um, at a, um, from, other, from other resources essentially. So it's going to be a very much a taster session. Mm -hmm. um, and there's not enough time to do um, any more than that, but it's um, just gonna go through um, creating a database, backing it up, to put turning on after imaging, uh, maybe do some moving of data around, working out what products are in that system, how to look at the log files, how to find out why stuff's not working too well, um, and some basic sort of advice on um, maybe monitoring and tuning and that sort of thing as a sort of a starting point to whet people's appetites um, and leave them hopefully wanting more in the future. Okay, okay. Well, that uh, sounds very interesting and uh, indeed a good starter uh, session. And, but after that, uh, you um, uh, move your focus to the developers and you try to uh, uh, teach them how to make their freshly DBAs <laughs> happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. Um, so obviously, as we, as I said, you know, I, I have my fingers in the sort of the development and the um, administration camps um, in terms of both, in terms of my job and everything else. Um, so it does give me quite a fresh perspective on those sorts of things. Um, but we find more and more and more that the cause of performance problems within the database is actually. Um, the code and not yeah. the database <laughs> itself. Um, yeah. And there are obviously times when the database or the infrastructure are to blame, um, but even then it's often um, a chunk of it is down to code um, mm. and and bad planning, bad coding, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's a talk really for developers on how to um, write their code more efficiently, um, mm. how to not hammer the database quite so much, but mm -hmm. also some process stuff like um, how to ask for database changes, how to, um, uh, and things along those lines in order to sort of also make the database administrators um, happier in terms of um, not having to change things all the time, making their life easier mm. and so on. It all stems actually from a problem that we had um, earlier this year um, mm -hmm. where we, where we um, were having 
massive performance problems at certain times of the day. Mm -hmm. Um, And it took us a lot of effort and a lot of analysis and a lot of high level meetings with various senior senior people in the room Mm -hmm. um, to eventually get to the bottom of it and find out that it was a code problem. And um, uh, yeah, and even then it was very hard to fix because of Mm -hmm. legacy code and uh, technical debt and so on. Um, So it got me thinking, to be honest, that actually, you know, that there must be other people out there who are experiencing the same sort of thing, that Mm -hmm. they've got these um, long lasting problems with their systems. Mm -hmm. um, And actually, it may be related to code, and it Mm -hmm. hopefully will provide people with um, some a lot of information in order to help them from as a developer to maybe not create those problems in the first place or at least if they have created those problems to um, uh, improve them and fix them uh, and do things right and um, hopefully remove some of the technical debt from within their applications and so on and that in turn will obviously make the database administrators happy because yes. uh, they, they, they they don't get blamed for stuff which isn't their fault yes, yes. <laughs> you're uh, you're absolutely right uh, okay, James. Well, f- thank you very much for your uh, introduction. Uh, is there anything else uh, you would like to say to the people to uh, to come over to Egmond aan Zee in the Netherlands for another uh, top conference uh, 2023? Um, it's if you haven't booked already, um, then it's a no-brainer. You should get there. Um, it's it the, the conferences are always excellent. Um, mm. um, but from what I can see, the uh, organizers have uh, put on a really good. Uh, agenda and the location looks fantastic um and um yeah uh, if you need an excuse to go to the beach in the early autumn then uh, this is your <laughs> this is it so uh, okay. um but yeah we look it would be great to have as many people there as possible and yes. uh, look forward to seeing any, everybody there okay okay well look forward to see you also uh, there and uh bring uh bring your beach suit as well uh so we can yeah i might bring up might bring a wet, wet suit and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> perfect okay yeah. james thank you for your uh, time and for your interview and uh see you uh, in the netherlands okay thanks for him bye-bye